Hello. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to this new moon in Libra card reading for Starseeds and Lightworkers on the 6th of October 2021. I'm Natasha Bailey and I work with Starseeds and Lightworkers who are struggling to ground their soul mission and who need to remove multidimensional blocks in order to finally fulfill their purpose here on this planet. So what I do um, every month is I do a new moon card reading for the collective, for the Starseed and Lightworker collective about what it is that we need to learn, embody on this new moon going forward for the month ahead. And because it's a new moon, we're focusing on what inspiration we need in order to uh, make our intentions for the next lunar cycle ahead. So the way I do it is I use uh, several card decks. I use um, the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Knoll to give us guidance from our Starseed Galactic Origins as to what we need to be aware of. I use the Lightworker Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild to uh, let us know what our higher selves are wanting to tell us that we need to be aware of. I do a card reading for uh, the Divine Feminine, what she needs to know in the month ahead or on this new moon. Uh, this one is by Miranda Gray. It's called the Red Moon Oracle. And then I pick a card from God Cards for Men as a message for the Divine Masculine. And finally, I love to finish off with the Crystal Deva card deck uh, by Cindy, Cindy Watlington to let us know how can we ground our new intentions for the new lunar cycle um, for this next month ahead. So let us get started. Starseed Oracle. So what do our starseed home galaxies and dementias need us to know for this new moon so that we can progress on our soul mission, on our life purpose here on this planet? What I tend to do is I shuffle the card decks and I wait for a card to pop out. Ah, so let me just check. Yeah, you can hear. Great. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> okay, so let us see what we have coming up. It's quite a slippery uh, card deck. It's got some kind of coating on it, so... It tends not to stick very often. So new moon is the dark moon. That's where everything grinds to a halt, where we stay still and listen to that inner guidance. And it's the new moon in Libra, which there will be a focus on diplomacy, relationships, uh, between yourself and others, how to make that work, any insights around that. Okay. Okay, so this card seems to want to come out now. Wow, this is incredible. It's beautiful. Um, the card is Jump In. Andromedan energy, adventure, say yes to change. So you can see the card here is of the cosmos. It's kind of like um, an eye within the cosmos. It's seeing, and also someone splashing into the middle of the cosmos, like splashing into the water. with all the galaxies around it. So it's almost like stepping into the I, to the I am, 
and stepping into that new adventure of being more I, the big seeing I. This is how I'm interpreting it. And saying yes, yes to change and uh, understanding that, you know, we're living in a world where there's so much change happening. So, you know, you can either resist it or you can jump in and jump into the change for yourself and for others. So let me see what the um, card deck has to share, say about this. Jump in. Andromeda is a spiral galaxy, the closest galaxy to the Milky Way. It's believed that Andromedan star seeds are a group of beings who love their freedom. Very adaptable, they have a strong willingness and ability to change and go with the flow. To find calm in the chaos, to swim with the tides, this card is here to encourage you to do the same. Perhaps you have a significant goal or opportunity ahead of you. If so, you're being guided to jump in. Don't wait for permission. Don't stall until you feel ready. You're never going to be ready. <laughs> you just have to go for it. I wasn't ready to completely leave my paid job, but I did it anyway. And bam, all these opportunities came up. So when you go for your soul mission, your life purpose, and you go for it, um, magic happens. So take a deep breath and jump right on in. Life bends for the courageous. And courageous is what you're being called to be. You're already facing the right direction. The only thing left to do is take the leap. So, and it says you'll figure out the details as you go along. So, so true. So this is a call to, to be courageous, take the leap of faith. Is this something that you've been thinking about doing or being or letting go of or moving towards? And if so, what is it? Let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Um, and jump into a new adventure. After all, the new world is being born. You might as well go on to a new adventure at the same time. So moving on to Alana Fairchild's Lightworker Oracle deck. What do our higher selves, higher selves have to say about this new moon? Yeah, and if you like um, this video and you find it helpful, um, please share, like, and subscribe. Um, I always love your comments and reflections. And, you know, feel free to come back here in a month's time on the next new moon and, and uh, let us know, did you follow your instincts? Did you follow the advice given to you? And if so, how did, has it paid off? Or what have you learned since then? Okay. Lightworker Oracle deck. What do our higher selves need us to know about this new moon in Libra? <laughs> it's very sunny here in London for a change. It's been raining on and off for the past week. Unbelievable. It's been such a delight to, to go and have a walk today uh, without getting wet. Whoop, here we go. Okay, so we have got the seventh ray of ritual, order, and ceremony. So new moons are typically a time to uh, do a ritual for setting your intentions for the month ahead. So what ritual or ceremony do you need to step into, either for the new moon or perhaps a rites of passage in your life? What is it that you wish to honor, celebrate, and be mindful of or allow your spirituality to awaken more? So it seems like you're being invited to step into ritual and ceremony more. And perhaps you are even thinking of creating your own rituals and ceremonies, or perhaps your own spiritual practices. You know, maybe you like to blend things and create something new. So where could you encourage more into your life, more ritual and ceremony? And 
to dive into it with full abandon. See how the light hits this woman and how she abandons herself, surrenders herself to that divine knowledge that flows through her. So what divine knowledge has flowed through you that you could share with others? Okay, so now we're going to go on to uh, the Red Moon Oracle deck. And um, what is the message for the Divine Feminine? For what to know about this new moon. New moon going forward for the month ahead. And if you're live here with me online, do come and say hello. I love to see your hellos and chats. Uh, do feel free to say hello. So Divine Feminine. This could be divine feminine within you, however you identify yourself. We all have receptive and dynamic energies within us. It's just that on this earth, um, they are separated out into two bodies. So one you may identify with more. But both genders have a combination of dynamic and receptive energies. Okay, so divine feminine. What is it that we need to know for the Divine Feminine for this new moon? Mm. Quite big card deck, actually. It's not like other decks where you can easily shuffle it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we have got the Inner Enchantress. The Enchantress, which is the pre-menstrual phase of the cycle uh, or the um, waning uh, the moon, the, it's the moon that become, that's before the new moon, yeah? It's, it's going darker. So the Enchantress rushes through your life, clearing away the old, but you are held safe in her darkening cloak Change is a gift of divine love. So relax into her emptying energy. Let go and know that all is well. And the mantra is, I surrender with gracefulness. So once again, we've got a card here about change and allowing change to happen in your life, including an emptying or a clearing away of anything old that does not serve you anymore. And know that when things uh, leave or cleared out or decluttered out of life, it's for a good purpose. So allow, uh, allow yourself to surrender to that to happen. I know we have a lot of attachments to people, places, and things in life. This is about allowing that surrender to happen more gracefully. Um, and that, that is happening for a very good purpose. It may be that there are certain energies, people, places, practices, or own, your own patterns of behavior that just you just need to let go of now and um, just let, let be. Inner Enchantress. Okay, so moving on to God Cards for Men by Richard the Grateful Bear. Um, what does the Divine Masculine need to learn about this new moon and the way forward for the month ahead? What? Oh, there's lots of cards coming out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. What does the divine masculine need to become aware of or learn about this new moon going ahead? Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, that is so beautiful. The card is called Sun. I am your sun. So the card here is about, wow, 
It is about the little child, the little boy, and the innocence of the little boy. It's almost like a feeling of the divine masculine going through childhood again or like a rebirth here. So it really feels like the divine masculine is deciding to go back to a stage of innocence and delight. Look, look at the joy on this child's face. I am your son. So the card says, um, born through the womb of creation, we inhabit and animate our physical form as a girl or as a boy. Psychology observes the first seven years of a child's life are crucial in our development and integration as effective members of society. As children, we eventually learn that our body is either boy or girl. The DNA and genetics of bo body gender also seems to imprint into the psyche of the child, who's further influenced, defined, and modeled by generations of cultural programming. Today, however, it is widely accepted that a masculine or feminine psyche may not always be tied to physical body gender. Many would argue that merely being the offspring of somebody's sperm and egg doesn't necessarily make you their son or daughter unless there is a family relationship of care and nurturing. At the most basic level, we are offspring born through human parents. If a boy, we would also be their son if an interdependent relationship with those parents exist. So it's possible to be somebody's son without necessarily being their offspring. So what that means is you could be somebody's son, but you don't necessarily have to be their biological offspring, but they could see you as your son. You could be a son to them. So allow this idea of a different kind of family unit to open up and realize that much like a tribe, you know, raises a child that you can be a son to many people and allow um, people to step up and to parent you as, as a boy, as a child. Maybe you need reparenting and to readopt a different position, a different way of being the boy in your life. So let us leave with that. Thank you so much. Finally, the Crystal Deva card deck. What do the crystals have to say about grounding our intentions with this new moon in Libra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lots of cards coming out. Okay, what are the crystals have to say? Hmm. Ah. Okay, no, not quite. Just waiting for that card to pop out. These are harder cards to shuffle. Look how elongated they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Wow, incredible. So we picked a moonstone for self-confidence. Self-confidence. So as this is the new moon, this might be a great time to carry moonstone with you to reflect that self-confidence within yourself the moonstone. Okay, so let me just see what um, the moonstones have to say. I don't often pick this, but it's regarding the crown chakra and it's about taking on new challenges and being successful and having more faith in yourself and your abilities. 
So other people can foster your self-confidence, but until you believe in your own skills, your proficiency, the praise that they give you will mean little. So perhaps you have some talents, but they're hidden behind uncertainty or insecurity, or you perhaps didn't have the right encouragement or support to develop a good sense of yourself. So in effect, you have an untapped potential and it's necessary to promote this in order to have confidence in yourself. And to do this, you need to begin to trust yourself and your decisions and actions will then be based on a calm source of strength and self-possession. So you need to maintain an inner counsel with yourself that's not affected by other people's opinion of you. So self-confidence comes from knowing yourself and respecting what you see. So, and it also means that any talents or successes of other people doesn't diminish you, doesn't make your talents any lesser. It's got nothing to do with you. So your worth is about you being you and uh, allowing your true identity to emerge any time that you generously and lovingly give of yourself without worrying about your own worthiness. So they suggest that you sit quietly with uh, the moonstone and to allow the energy to move down your um, chakra system, if you still have uh, chakras, or just through your energy center, and your spinal column to relax your entire area. Release any tightness in your diaphragm and allow a quiet serenity to fill your being. And to bathe you in an elixir of self-confidence. And this will be experienced in your body as a deep relaxation and absence of worry. So hold within yourself the quiet assurance that self-confidence offers you and what happening in the outside world need not bother you. So you allow yourself to continue calmly, irrespective of what is going on outside in the world. So in order to discover your self-confidence, you need to find out who you are. And this requires for you to take time to sit with yourself regularly and check in with yourself. And this is something I've been uh, doing more and more of recently and discovering what is important to me, what is my own sense of worthiness. So if that's something you're interested in and exploring, Feel free to connect with me. I am leaving the link down below and wishing you an amazing new moon. Please like, subscribe, share this video with anyone you feel this could be useful for. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye for now.